What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over six landing page design tips to help you improve your conversion rates. So your landing page is going to be really important to the success of your PPC advertising campaign and really any campaign where you're trying to drive new leads, new sales, and new customers. So these are going to be some simple design tips you can follow. Number one, very simple, focus on the headline and the subheading first. That's generally what people are going to see first when they do go to your landing page. So you want to make sure the headline captures their attention and you want to make sure you can promote your offer really easily and quickly to people. Now, a major bonus here is if you can get your headline to actually match the search term that people are typing in. So if someone types in a specific search term, they click on your advertisement, creating that seamless experience from the search to the advertisement, to the landing page, and specifically to that headline to match the actual keyword that people are searching. It's very hard to do because it takes a lot of time to create that many landing pages. But if you can do it for some of your top keywords, it's gonna help you drive more conversions at a lower cost. Now, let's just look at a quick example here. So here's the landing page we're gonna be building for this. And you can see here, I just have a fake company, Surfside Social. So let's just say, for example, I have my own social media tool that I'm trying to drive people to so they sign up. So what you wanna do is you wanna get people to your landing page and you can see here my headline, grow your social following. So go with a quick benefit, go with with something that's going to quickly describe the product or service or benefit that you're really offering to people when they do visit your landing page whatever you want them to sign up for and then my subheading here is top rated social media scheduling monitoring and analytics tool so people know exactly what they're going to get and the main benefit they're getting from this is to grow their social following when they sign up for surfside social so that brings us to number two. And number two is to make the action you want visitors to take as clear as possible. You want your offer to be very obvious and you want to make the call to action stand out on the page. So for this one, grow your social audience, top rated social media scheduling, monitoring and analytics tool. And you can see our call to action, start your free trial. So you want to make sure you have a call to action that's bold on the page so people know exactly what action you want them to take when they do visit your landing page. This is vital because you want people to sign up for your service. You want people to learn more about your products. So whatever it is, number two, you want to make sure that the action you want visitors to take is very clear and your call to action on the page stands out. Next is going to be number three, and number three is to sell the benefits and provide proof. So regardless of what it is you're selling, if it's a product, if it's a service, you want to make sure that you're showing some of these positive reviews and testimonials so people visit your page and they see that you have other happy customers, you have other people using your software or your tool or whatever it is you're trying to promote. So here's our example here. So at the top, we have grow your social audience, top rated social media scheduling, monitoring analytics tool. We have your enter your email to start your free trial. Now, if this doesn't capture people right away, and a lot of times it doesn't, people wanna learn more before they actually give you their email and start their free trial, do some quick benefits. You can use images to show some of these benefits, and then you also wanna use testimonials and customer reviews. So here's just a sample five-star customer review, easy to use and great features. So just make sure people understand that if they do sign up or they purchase from you, that there are gonna be some benefits and they can easily see what it is. So why Surfside Social? Try to connect with people and understand some of the problems that they're facing when they're looking for a social media marketing tool or whatever it is that you're trying to target them with. Affordable pricing, connect all social networks, engage your audience, analytics dashboard. So there's a lot of things that people can get hung up on. So use the benefits to make sure that you're answering any of the questions that they might have when they do sign up for your software. So that's gonna be number three, is to make sure you're showing some of these benefits and provide proof using customer reviews. And it's the best if you have a large number of customer reviews. Think about Amazon. Anytime someone looks at products on Amazon, a lot of times what people are gonna purchase are the top rated products. So that's gonna be number three. Okay, next is gonna be number four. And number four is gonna to be to use high quality images and videos. So you wanna use these to describe your products and services. So if it's a product page and you can use videos to show the different angles of your product or people using your product, think about basketball sneakers, for example. You can show the front, the back, the side of the shoes. People can get a full 360 degree view of the basketball shoe. And you can also show basketball players wearing those shoes as they are on the court, dribbling a basketball and maybe dunking or something along those lines. Using images and using videos can quickly provide information and it's just another great way to sell your products and services to potential customers. So essentially what I would do in this case is how it works. You have a video here. People can watch a one to two minute video of how the social media marketing tool works. 
And then the other thing you can do is use some of the images from your social media marketing tool, use images and use videos to make sure people understand front, back, side to side, everything about your product, everything about your service. So for example, one of the things that I can do is showing connect all social networks. I can show all the different social networks that people connect to this social media marketing tool. I can say connect to your Twitter account, connect to your Facebook account, connect to your LinkedIn account, connect to Instagram, connect to Pinterest. So I can say this is an all in one social media marketing tool. You can connect every single social network you have. So you can use images to show people how they can easily connect all of their social networks and start scheduling and publishing some of these social media posts directly to their social media accounts. So the more that you can show people using visual images and using videos, the better it's going to help to sell your products and services. And that's ultimately your goal with a landing page is to have a call to action up at the top and make sure that your call to action is very clear to people and then show all the benefits of why people should take advantage of whatever your call to action is. Now, number five is going to be a quick and simple one, one that I'm going to go over very quickly, but you want to make sure that your desktop and mobile designs are responsive so that it looks exactly the same, no matter the device that people are using when they do access your landing page. So if someone's on a mobile device or looking up social media scheduling software, they might end up converting on their desktop device later, but you want to make sure that a device does not ruin your conversion rate. If you find you have a really low conversion rate for your mobile design, then you probably want to create a new design that looks as good as possible on mobile because you don't want a device to drag down your conversion rate and increase your cost per conversion. So essentially what you want to do is open your landing page on a desktop device, open it on a mobile device, and make sure that no matter what device you're using, no matter what browser you're using, that people can easily see the benefits of your products and services and easily sign up for or purchase from you directly so that both your design are exactly the same because you don't want one device to drag down your conversion rate. It's only going to hurt your overall costs over time and it's just going to end up hurting your business revenue. So that's going to be number five is to make sure your designs are completely responsive and do a full review on every single device that you have and using different browsers as well because sometimes your landing page might look different in Google Chrome than it does on Safari. Now, last but not least, make sure you review competitor landing pages. So this is a great design tip because you might have your landing page complete and you might be out of ideas and you can learn a lot from looking at other landing page designs. So I pulled up other landing pages related to social media marketing tools. So if we come back to my final design over here, it would look something like this. Obviously you'd want more spacing there. This is kind of a compacted version, but what I would want on my final design is a headline at the top. So some type of benefit, some type of selling point, and then the subheading exactly what people are going to get. I have my call to action here. You don't have to do the email. If I do start your free trial, you can do something where it puts a form up in front of people's face and then you can have them fill out that form. But I would want to have some videos, some images showing how it works, some of the benefits that people can take advantage of. And then what we can do is look at some of these other examples. So let's come over here and let's just say I come into Google. I type in social media scheduling tool. You're going to see advertisements at the top. So all you need to do is click on some of your competitor advertisements. So we're going to look through some examples here. The first one is from loomly.com and you can see here. So build a successful brand with your team Enter your email, get started, start your 15 day free trial, enter your email, free 15 day trial integrated with, so you can see all the social media networks you can connect to. They have some images over here showing responsive design. They even have an Apple watch over here. So you know that your design can look good on any single device. Keep coming down. They have an explainer video here, start your 15 day free trial. So you can put your call to action in multiple places, all your team needs in one tool. So you can see they don't use a ton of text on their page at all. It's really more image based. If you scroll down here, you have images down here. You have a video explainer down here, 90 second video. That's very popular on landing pages. And then you have the main call to action here. Start your 15 day free trial. So they're using a lot of images here. And then you have a table here showing some features, Loomly versus others. So a lot of different ideas here to get started with, showing some proof here, trusted by 4,400 plus teams around the world. And they're showing some awards they have down here. Here's what some awesome customers have to say. So you can see they have a lot of these design elements within their landing page. So let's look at the next one. The next one is later.com. So the modern way to manage social media, visually plan, schedule, and analyze all your social media content in one place. 
They have create account as their call to action, free forever, set up in minutes, no credit card required. So again, you're looking at some of these little selling points here where people might say, I don't want to create an account because I don't want my credit card in. So these are just little things that people can read and say, okay, I'll create the account for now because I don't have to actually upload my credit card information yet. Keep scrolling down. This one has a lot more text to it, and you can see they have a call to action with every little section on their website. So if we keep scrolling down, you're gonna start seeing some of the same things here. So create a beautiful Instagram feed, join over 2 million of the world's top brands, agencies, and influencers. So again, they're showing proof here, and they have a lot of their selling points if you do sign up for later.com. So let's look at a couple more. So the next one is Hootsuite. So you can see they use start your free 30-day trial as their call to action, start your free trial connect with multiple social networks. So we keep scrolling down, how it saves you time. So they're listing some of the benefits here. Hootsuite at a glance, again, some of the benefits, some of the things you can take advantage of with their platform. Over 18 million users, so showing some proof. So you can see a lot of these landing pages have the same type of elements. The designs are just a little bit different, different colors, different call to action. So last but not least, what we'll look at is SproutSocial.com, social media tools for business. Sprout social media tools, make it easy to bring large, multidisciplinary social teams together, start your free trial, trusted by over 20,000 customers, they have an image over here to show how it works, keep scrolling down, easily manage one or many social media accounts, some of the different brands that are using it. So again, you're going to find a lot of these same design elements and themes on all of these pages, but those are six different landing page design tips. Again, you just want to have a main call to action here, list the benefits, show images, use video to make sure you can sell your products and services. And don't be afraid to look at some of your competitors' landing pages because if your competitors are consistently running ads to their website and you always see them as competitors for your Google Ads account or your Facebook ads or whatever type of advertisements you're running, they're probably seeing conversions because if they continue to spend their budget, then they're probably driving revenue with that budget. So look at their landing pages and look at some of the different offers that they have, some of their different ways of selling their products and services and use those for your own inspiration. So if you have any questions about this, please leave in the comments section. These are six landing page design tips to help you improve your conversion rates. Essentially, it's a checklist of things you want to make sure you have on your landing pages so you can continue to drive more and more conversions at a lower cost. Again, thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.